Cheers, g'day everyone, Sonia Bernard, Linked by Ink, your independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator coming to you from the Charleston, South Carolina area, where it is rainy and gloomy today. It is just so sad. But, you know, I don't have to water my grass this way. So look. Every single time I start up, my internet's like, hang on, I'm not ready, give me a second. <laughs> so, okay, today's April 11th, 2024. And um, I am coming back from um, a vacation in Cabo, Mexico, where I um, got some food poisoning. It wasn't a lot of fun, <laughs> but the couple of days before the food poisoning, lots of fun. And um, as you know, or you may not know, but I've got my incentive trip to... The other side of Mexico, Cancun, Mexico, at the end of this month. And um, so I kind of wanted to celebrate and kind of give back a little bit something to all of you who support my business and um, have helped me earn that incentive trip. Um, so today's class can be a little different. Okay, so normally, um, I'll just, I gotta say, oh, look, oh, yo, yo, if you need a catalog before we get started on the class, if you need a catalog, reach out to me. I will get one in the mail to you. Um, I can't show you the inside, just the outside. If you've purchased from me in the last six months, I've already sent you one in the mail. It's coming. Um, Stampin' Up! is sending that for me. Well, I paid for it, but you know, um, they're taking care of that for us. We have a mailing selector, it's called. So, yeah, if you, and of course, if you're local, you'll get one when you come to your next class here um, with me. So speaking of class, um, um, we're doing we're using the trusty tools bundle. That is um, something that is what is the word I'm looking for? It's staying. It's not going away. Um, the the retired list. It's not retiring. The retired list is out now. The sale for the last chance is out now. So today's a great day to go ahead and place an order. And when you do, and you use the host code that's below in this description, and you make sure that you've got me, Sonia Bernard, as your um, Stampin' Up! demonstrator, then you are going to get a kit in the mail. Now, today's kit's a little different. You're going to get enough for four cards, one of each design. I mean, four designs, one of each card. I can't talk today. So these are the cards we're making today. And... You might notice the paper in these cards. So you'll get the supplies to make one each of these cards. And everything will be die cut for you, cut for you. What's not going to be cut for you is the DSP. Now this DSP was a celebration special um, that we had during celebration. And it was something that you could get a free paper pack when you made a purchase of $50 or more, you could pick out one free item. Now, celebration was January and February. Well, I love this paper, love this paper, and I have a lot of it. So, enough for my customer base, because I kind of know what my customer base is. So, today, when you place that minimum order of $40 before shipping and tax, so, your total has to equal 40, then shipping, then tax. You're going to get the kit in the mail, so you have enough to make four cards, one of each. And you're also going to get this pack of, um, half a pack of the DSP. And it is a 12 inch by 6 inch pieces. So it's a full pack cut in half. And this is going to ship with your kit absolutely free. So I'm not going to cut your DSP. This you're going to cut yourself because you might look at this card and go, oh, well, I love that layout, but you know what? I want to use different paper or I want to use one paper here and one paper there and a different paper here. So you get to choose what you want, it, what you want to um, use in your cards with your pack of paper. You're also going to get a PDF tutorial for this. Okay, so that comes with every card class I do you get a PDF tutorial emailed to you. Then, as an added bonus, because if this wasn't enough, but wait, there's more. So, I'm going to add in another PDF tutorial, absolutely free, 
and it's going to show you how to make these four cards and this is using the Simply Zinnia paper that as far as I know is still available um, so you're not getting a kit you're getting the PDF tutorial just make sure you understand the PDF tutorial now all these items are actually stamped and colored in on all of these but now that you've got the paper, you could use the paper for this one as well, okay? And there's a feminine one. So you get, um, and that's actually a fun fold. Ooh. So you get a card kit with um, four, to make four cards, one of each design, envelopes included. You get the PDF tutorial for that card kit. You get a half a pack of the um, the trusty tools paper you also get another free PDF tutorial and um, emailed to you and everything is shipped to you free that's a $50 value $50 value when you place a $40 order using the host code below and you've got from now which is uh, April 11th through to December 17th, um, midnight Eastern Standard Time, which is next Wednesday. So you've got a whole week. However, supplies are limited. So get your order in so you can guarantee getting this kit, okay? And um, if you're not sure when you, if you're like, oh, well, I'm not seeing this and it's the 16th. Does she have any left? Shoot me a quick message on Messenger um, and or you can text me. 843-754-2565, probably the quickest way to do it is shoot me a quick text and um, say, hey Sonia, do you still have that um, paper pack and kit left for trusty tools? I want to place an order, but I want to make sure I grab it first. Go ahead and shoot me a text, not a problem. Okay, well let's turn this down and go get started I think, because... These are some fun fold cards. So let me just do this and then we'll flip, flip, flop, and hopefully I've done it right. I'm gonna turn that down. Okay. Yeah, I know I keep saying I need to upgrade my system. I do, it's just oh, with the vacation and it was, um, what did we have before that? We had on stage. Then I had a vacation. Of course, I got classes all in between and videos in between. And yeah, life gets busy. So I will be at some point trying to upgrade this system so there's no more moving of the camera. It's just click, click, click. So again, trusty tools. It is carrying over and it's one of my faves. I love it. Um, the dies are just amazing. If you don't have this, um, go grab it because it's so cool it's such a fun set and as you see you can even do you know a feminine card with it okay okie dokie um, now the embellishments because I'm offering it for this week but I am using the cork rounds now adhesive back cork rounds Item number is 162643. I'm telling you this because these are going away and I don't want you to miss out if you want to order them because I do use these with both of these card sets. So go ahead and grab those before they go bye-bye. Okay, we're going to start with this cute little one, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Now, you'll see I do have it poking over the edge a little bit, but actually, I don't even mind it. it it's so small and minimal that it doesn't really bother me too much. Too much, maybe a little. Now, there's a lot of measurements today. I will tell you the measurements. However, when you place that order and get your kit, you will get um, the PDF tutorial, which has all the measurements. So your kit will look a little different. Normally, it has all the other bits and pieces in it but because I'm not cutting your DSP you'll get like this will be the card kit for card number one this will be the first one okay because you are in charge of cutting your own DSP this month just so you get choices I love choices right so we're using Lost Lagoon and this is just a regular um, eight and a half by five and a half 
and we've scored it at four and a quarter, which is in half, and then we've also scored it at two and an ease, which is a half again. So we're going to fold into the bump. You always want to go the other way, but you want to put it so you fold into the bump. And then bring that down. And then this front part is going to get folded back over on itself like this. It's easy card. Love it. Then we're going to get another piece of our Lost Lagoon. And this is going to be... Um, five and a half by two and three quarter and then you're going to score it at two and three quarter so it's basically scored in half it's going to give you this little booklet looking thing here now we'll go ahead oh you will get a square tip did I forget a square oh yeah yay okay you'll also get this piece because <laughs> you need this piece I'm going to stand up and stamp. I don't know about you, but when I'm stamping, I like to be standing. It's just, I don't know, it's just what I like to do. So, we are going to stamp um, in Lost Lagoon. And now, if you don't have Lost Lagoon ink, you can use a black, you can use a grey, you could use any colour that coordinates with your paper. Um, so, this is a poppy parade. You could use a poppy braid, but you know, black's fine too if that's what you have. So we are going to stamp dad on this one and it just fits. And coming right, my head is on the microphone now. <laughs> okay, now if it gets a little like this, sometimes with these photopolymer, I find like I always let it try to soak off of the stamp onto there. It actually came out a little weird today, <laughs> but I, I kind of like it. It's got almost like a marbled look to it. I'm rolling with that. Would, you know, I was going to be mad about it for a second, but I'm really not. So um, I think it's because I cleaned my stamps. Okay. Sometimes you might have a little bit of residue, so I'll wipe this one off. It might be a little bit better. And you probably can't even tell until I pointed that out. And then we're just going to put... Happy Father's Day on oh, that one. Cute. So, yeah, I really, I'm really digging how that came out. It's got a super marbled look to it. Love it. And you'll notice when you stamp, the color will go lighter. You can see that it, it's a lot darker here and it lightens up as it dries. Okay. So now, now that we've got... That's the hard part for this card. This card's the easiest. We've got the um, one of the harder ones at the end. So now we're going to use this whole sheet. Well, that matches almost perfectly. And this is our DSP is five and a quarter by four. And so we'll make that layer right there. And if you wanted to as well, you could always put instead of putting a sentiment in here you could have this in half and have this part as the paper and this part as the white part where you write if you wanted to as well okay and then we've got this other piece of dsp and this is going to be oh my i'm going to find it for it's <laughs> well while we're waiting on that one here we go these two pieces you're going to want these at two and a half by two and a half and we're going to want this one at five and a quarter um, high and we want it at one and seven eighths wide okay just so many measurements written down I was trying to make sure I give you the correct one so just pay attention to directionality when you're cutting your paper you want to make sure that you're cutting it the right width and height so you don't end up with your paper going sideways and then you can't use it and then you're like well wait a second what about if I just change the whole card and make it go this way <laughs> so if you do make a boo-boo don't think oh it's all done for I'm done for you can always change it up just a little bit you know like change the directionality of the card itself 
and then these are the two little squares that they're exact same and you just want to make sure you've got that open to the left this is just nuts and bolts so it doesn't really matter about directionality but if you're using um, paper that did have directionality just keep an eye on that as you're doing that okay and a quick here we go and put this down alrighty love it now this is going to clip on let's say clip on because it's going to go on this side and this side to here now if we wanted to get this we can put this in first if we want and I'm not using dimensionals because I want it flat I don't want this popping out at all I am going to center it like there just put that in there and then when we do this we can if that bothers you that I had that little bit showing now we can go all the way over and cover that so you would look and you go okay Put your finger here because you're only going to want glue on this little edge here so I kind of just pinch with my finger and then I always go a little less than needed like I could go all up there but I'm not going to and then we're going to stick this back in here and just set it down basically make sure it's straight and then just give it a second and while we're just giving that a second we can be putting dimensionals on this one now the reason I'm giving it a second is because I am using the liquid Tombow glue or that it's not sliding around because there's nothing worse than you get it nice and straight and then you start moving and then you look back later and the whole thing is crooked. No fun. So we'll do that. I put dimensionals on the back here and we'll just put dad right there. Now we can do this side. And again, all you do is like eyeball that, pinch with your finger, go, okay, it's about here. I'm going to put some glue just there. And then I'm just going to fold it. And once that dries, we're done. And I did put some cork on it. Um, you can add that or leave it off. Either way, it's going to look really cute. We do have some, a lot of our, um, what I call masculine embellishments are retiring um, but we have some new ones coming so I'm excited about that so there is card numero uno okay next is our easel card like this stands up and it's got plenty of room to write up here that's the only thing with that first card is you don't really have room to write anywhere but you could just put here love and then your name or you could even write a note here like over here so you can write on this now if you want you can put a piece of white um dear white basic white cardstock here and then you could write there as well so it doesn't have to be just this you could take it further okay okay so this one, yeah, you have space to write. Now this one, we're using this fun die. Oh my gosh, it makes a mess, but it's a lot of fun. And it's this die. Oops, I dropped one. This die here, out of your dies. And that, you run that through and it cuts it out really good. Um, you can use a dryer sheet in there to help get all that mess out. Okay need the actual kit now again you won't have the DSP cut you'll have all the other bits so it will look like this you'll have this and this and this and this and this and your bow will not be tied but you will have some um, some bake uh, some linen thread there Oh, cup of tea today it's a cold day okay lots of measurements are we ready here we go again it's easier if you just place your order get a $50 additional value um, of items in that PDF tutorial included in that and you'll have all your measurements 
So we've got a four and a quarter by 11, score and folded at five and a half, and then it is scored again at two and three quarter. And we're gonna burnish that. So that's just gonna be flat. This one is gonna come up. You're gonna make like a tent. So it's gonna be a tent, you see? Like that. And then we've just got our regular basic white five and a quarter by four layer, which will go right in here. And this is where you can have something to write on to put your, your message to your loved ones. And this could be, this doesn't have to be to a loved one or anything. This could be to anybody. Um, it's just, you know, like it's, it's a nice masculine card, masculine thank you card. We are going to want some DSP. And we're also going to want this piece of basic black. Now, um, this is a five inch by three and three quarter. And then we've got our DSP, which is, um, we have a four by one and a half. And that is going down here. And I think I'll put it that way. And we're going to put that four inches by one and a half inches. And that's kind of be the backing for our little stand area. Put that there. Then we're going to need this DSP and that is going to be cut. Um, that is three and a half wide and four and three quarter long. And then we've also got another piece that's three and a half wide and one and a half high or long, whichever one you want to call it. Height, I guess you would call it. So we're going to just glue these down together. Too easy. This really is like one, you've got all the pieces ready for you. You're just going to have to cut your DSP. So we're going to push those little um, cutting skills to the test there because normally I cut all your DSP for you but um, once you get your DSP cut it's pretty easy putting this all together we're gonna put that down about there looks good and then we've cut out this piece in gray granite <coughs> excuse me and all I did was run my glue kind of down the um, solid areas there. And a little bit down there, a little bit across there. And we can just pop that down as well. Next, I have cut you out already a banner. Oh, and the... Um, the die set I'm using for these, you'll have them all cut out for you, but it's the Nested Essentials, which are um, carrying over. Yay! So I've used the second largest for the banner, the second smallest for the rectangle, and the smallest for whatever this shape is. <laughs> I don't know what you call that. Um, so that is what I have used there. Now we are going to do a little masking. I've also used, um, with some of my sentiments, um, this is the Thoughtful Wishes. This is one of the new stamp sets coming out May 1st, but it has some fun um, sayings on it, and I, I wanted the I Appreciate You, and I was going to use some of these others, but just didn't fit with what I was doing, so. But we are going to use the Thank You, which is from the Trusty Tools. Um, stamp set and we're going to use our post-it note this is a one inch post-it note um, it's called labeling and cover up tape I get it on Amazon and um, you just pull a piece like this and we want the thank part so we'll just cover that up definitely standing for this part <laughs> we're gonna get the poppy parade ink and just kind of make sure that that's sitting there nice. And then we're going to stamp. 
and get that nice and inked up. Or make sure you remove this now. Take that off because you don't want any ink. Then we are going to put this down a little bit because I did tie a, um, I put a big bow here. So hopefully this is nice and straight. We go think. Then we're going to wash it off the stamp so you clean it with your cleaner. I'm actually, I also dry it a little bit and if I have a piece of, well here I've got a paper towel, I just like stamp it a little bit extra because I don't want any residue left at all, especially all the residue is gone. Then I'm going to get another piece of the tape and I'm going to cover, it doesn't have to be the whole thing, so you just need enough that you're going to ink this part now. I'm going to ink the U. So we're going to pull this over and ink that part. Now you could use the same piece of tape as before, just turn it around, but I just don't like to because I, I don't want to make a mess. Okay, so now we've got the U and we're just going to put this right here and hope that's straight. Wonderful. I love the font on this too. I really, um, I'm here for it. It's really cute. Okay, I'm shaking the desk. Yes, I am. And since we have this out, oh, you are going to, yep, I did have this piece too. You will have this piece in your kit. Um, we're going to get your The Most Awesome, which is from the Trusty Tools. Now, just say you don't have the Trusty Tools and you don't want the Trusty Tools, but you want this kit and you want the paper, you don't have to actually use the stamps that I'm using, you can use anything that you have in your stash. And you know, I'll stop talking when I stamp. I'm like, please let it line up. Yes, look at that. Love it when a plan comes together. I don't know what it is about Poppy Parade ink, but I just think it stamps so beautifully. I just love it. And I just, I don't know whether it's the ink or what, but I just love it. Okay, so now we're almost done almost done with this we are going to go ahead and we'll put the thank you on so we'll get some dimensionals and put this now once you've got these measurements for everything you can go ahead and just get creating with so many different um, papers and sets that you have there we go so I will have this cut to this exact same size. I'm not sure what size this is. I did it by, I ran it through and then I just made it so it kind of had like two around it. And then I just cut, um, chopped it off with the, with the paper trimmer. So I don't have an actual size. I guess I could find a ruler and measure it. But that piece will be um, die cut for you. So I don't usually give sizes of die cuts, okay? So we're going to put dimensionals on there and we are going to go ahead and put this here in the center. And this is what um, stops your card, makes your card uh, stand up there. So then we need this, I've done like a triple bow in some linen thread. And again, you will get that piece of linen thread in there and I'll make it a little extra long. So you've got room to play with it. Um, and I've got a triple bow there. We'll get a glue dot. And we will just stick that on here. And you could trim that up too if you want. It doesn't have to be that long. Throw it like that. There we go. Next and last is gluing it to here. So for this, we only want to glue it to halfway. If you glue it flat, you're not going to be able to bend. It won't bend. It'll just be a card, okay? So you want it to be able to bend like this. So you only want glue on the bottom half. So you can just eyeball like, I always do maybe less, a little bit less than the half, okay? Then, I know I've only got it on less than the half. I can lay it down here and just center it onto the front. 
and know that the glue is only going on to this bottom portion like that and then we can get our cute little core crowns and just pop a couple of them on cork makes me think of sawdust <laughs> which makes me think of a workshop where all the tools are and there we go we've got our step card yes okay that's number two who's ready for number three here we go let's make sure i've got the measurements coming up this is this is the one that was probably the most tricky for me trying to get it squared away whoops i'm knocking stuff down trying to get it actually squared um even here you can see mine's a little crooked <laughs> right there if we're picking it apart oh sorry gotta have my tea <laughs> okay so this one you are going to get when you receive it the cardstock and it's already going to, you'll get this piece you'll get this piece and then you'll get this piece then <coughs> excuse me you will cut out all these bits here and this is just fussy cut out and there we go okay now you'll see this one was actually red well the next piece that was easiest to get to me uh, for me was the green now you can change this out with anything that you want okay it doesn't have to be you could put one of the um, paint brushes there too. just see what you have but now look at that before you go cutting your paper so you can kind of see where you're going to want that piece but you do get two 12 by 6 pieces so you should have something in there that you can use okay i'm not going to guarantee that it's not cut in half um there's no guarantees with that okay okay here's the measurements you're ready four and a quarter by nine and a half this time we're going to score and fold it at um five and a half at six and a half at eight and at nine okay so you've got five, four different score lines then you're gonna burnish this and you're gonna burnish it again and you're going all the same way and then last one it's all folding in because it's going to come in on itself like this okay so now we need our piece of DSP now this has directionality so you want to make sure that you are cutting it the correct way this is going to be five and a quarter wide and four inches high okay so make sure you cut it you cut if you're cutting it with the so it's sideways you cut it four inches then you turn it and then you cut at five and a quarter and then you'll have the correct directionality okay and the last one i'm actually going to take you through step by step how to create the base so that you've got this video you can come back and recreate that card um and uh because it is a little trickier the last one is the trickiest i kind of went from easiest to hardest i guess on this one okay you also before you start folding this down grab another piece which you guess is going to be the same height it's going to be four inches high and it's only going to be one and a quarter wide okay so when you cut that four inch piece you can just go ahead cut the four inch piece then go ahead and cut off five and a quarter and then go ahead and cut off one and a quarter and then you'll have your bits um oh and then you're going to do one more and that's going to be a little piece i'm going to show you put this on because we're going to do the back okay and that is also going to be pretty sure that's four inches yeah four inches high and we're going to do three quarters of an inch and so our basic white card stock is going to be five and a quarter by four and we'll go ahead and we'll just put this on now so 
so you've got plenty of space to write. It just makes it easier when it's flat to glue it all together. Just make sure you're gluing that on the right side. Well, you've already put this on this side, so just make sure you've got the right sides for everything, okay? And then we'll put this one little piece down here on the right. Okay, so here's the trickiest part for, well, or trickiest for me, is you really want to get this square. So you're just going to put an adhesive here. If you use a snail, then you kind of got to get it right the very first time. That's why I like to use this liquid and I put a little extra there and then I fold it and try to get that as square as possible. So I'll look at it from this angle, then I'll look at it from this angle and that's actually not bad. I think we'll just stick with that. I did, I did get a little bit of glue here. You can just wipe that away while it's drying. So I'm just going to set that there, let that keep drying. Now we've got another piece of um, cardstock, and this is the grey granite. I hope I told you grey granite. And this is going to be three inches by five inches, and it's also going to be scored at um, a half inch and a one and a half inch. And then we're going to do the same thing: fold in and fold in, burnish them. And then this is going to go to your right. So now we're going to get our little piece of back of that one. Okay. And this is going to be um, three and a quarter by two and three quarter. And that's going to fit right on this three by five. I'm going to glue that down. And then we're going to stamp again. You're the most awesome. Now you could do all your stamping at the beginning if you pull all your bits out and stamp everything. And then when it comes to stamp it all, cut it all, and then put it all together. So we're going to use the Poppy Parade again in this cute little square from um, the Nest Essentials dies. I'm going to ink this up. Make sure we've got that straight. You're the most awesome. Love it. So if you have someone in your life who is the most awesome, let them know. I mean, they, it could be a co-worker who's just really great to work with. It could be your UPS driver. I mean, anything. Imagine just handing your UPS driver a card and this, this actually folds down and then he, he takes it and opens it and he's like, oh my gosh, that's so cool. You know, you can, I think I might give this one to my UPS driver. I've got this young kid and he is just, he is the most awesome. He always gives a little toot, um, like when he pulls up, he, he toots his horn, doot doot lets me know so that way I can meet him down at the door as he hands me all my Stampin' Up! boxes. It's very cool. So I think next time I have a UPS coming because sometimes I do get my um I get it through FedEx and they just drop and run. So we're gonna just fussy cut that out. I might just give him a random tip too. Why not? little card, little tip, doesn't have to be Christmas, show your appreciation, um, I could, probably could have put this on after, but we're going to put that there, there we go, now next, this is going to fold to here, now this is, this is the one where I didn't get it very straight on this last one, so we'll see if I can redeem myself here, so I'm going to want it about halfway in there-ish, so really just on the edge here and 
then maybe if I stand up there I'm just kind of center kind of the top and the bottom and go there I'm just gonna let that hold there and set for a second while I do that I can put on some cork rounds you can actually do this one handed while keeping that from moving there there we go and then this time I'm going to try to get this a little better because it's going to matter when you go to fold it when you go to push it down if it's not quite lined up see how it's not going to go super flat there because I got that a little bit crooked it's only a little bit but it'll be fine it'll still fit in your envelope okay now I pulled that out like this put my liquid on there put it back in fold it in try not to get I don't want to get glue all over the paper so just put like that There we go. Too easy. And I'll just let that finish drying. And that is card number three. And you see, you either have the green or the red. It looks cute both ways. Um, this is actually my daughter Jasmine's. This was her favorite card. She's like, oh, I really like this. It's fun and fresh. <laughs> That's her words. <laughs> fun and fresh. Now this one, this one's going to be whew, a doozy. Okay. So this one... I'm actually going to take you through and then I am going to show you painful step by step. <laughs> it's not that bad. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little bad, but I'm going to show you how to get this pattern here on here and how to cut everything. Okay, I'm going to just take our time with this one and make sure it's very clear so that when you're coming back to watch this, you have no doubts as to what you're doing. Now, here's a couple of tricks before you start. Number one, I like to have a bit of washi tape here that I will tape my blade down with because there's nothing worse than you doing all these little scores and then you accidentally grab the, the blade. So I've got my score here. The second trick is I've got some double-sided um, quarter inch tape and I've just put it down one side along here this allows you to see the numbers a lot clearer um, it gives them a backing especially once you put some paper underneath there you can really see those numbers and that's what you're going to need right there so our first we do need the arm out but oh, I don't have the room <laughs> Okay, so what we're going to do first is we're going to do a score line right here. Okay, and that score line is going to, let me double check because I changed the measurements of what I was using. So you can go to four and a half and do the score line. I'm going to double check I got that right. Yes. So this is, this is, I find this the easiest way. Four and a half, do a score line all the way across. Okay? Then we're going to roll it all the way down to we've got one inch here. Okay? So we're in one inch. Then we have got zero to one inch on the side right here. You, you can actually even just roll that in. Zero to one inch there. That's when you want to get your score tool and go from the one inch to the end. Now this is four and a quarter inches wide, right? So we're going to go three and a quarter, just kind of lift up so you're not pressing. Bring it to three and a quarter. You'll see there's a little line here and it lines up right there. So you'll have your three and a quarter and then your score there. So you're scoring one inch in and one inch in. Next, we're going to want to go another inch down. So this is when you're going to need to extend it because your paper is at 10 inches here, right? You're going to want to push that up to nine inches. 
so this is going to be at nine inches now if you're like me and you don't have the space you can actually just close this while you do it not a problem right and we're going to do the exact same thing so we're going to go from the one inch or you can go from the zero to the one either or doesn't matter and then kind of lift up and go three and a quarter to the end so now you've got your two score lines there the next thing you're going to do is bring this all the way in to five and a half inches your end of your paper that is going to put you at an inch here okay so five and a half make sure you've got the end at five and a half this time we're doing it opposite we're going to do the middle section so between those two lines that we did here so we're going to go from the one inch and we're going to bring it down to the three and a quarter inch three and a quarter and then I do it a couple of times so just in the center okay so what we've got looking now when we look at it we've got our score line that is at four and a half inches at five and a half inches we've got our score line at nine inches and at ten inches okay or one inch in one inch in so you've got score line score line score line score line score line next we're going to turn it and we're going to we're going to get our cutting blade ready and we are cutting from that first line all the way up to the last line so not from the edge we're not we don't want to cut the edge we want to cut from that first line all the way up to the last line okay so we're going to put this at the one inch here and then we're going to bring our blade I always like to hold it up till I get it where I need it and we're going to go from the one inch all the way up to the six and a half inch and I might even stop a little bit before well I went a little bit over it's okay if you stop a little bit before then you can just simply flip it over and do the exact same thing again go from the one inch all the way to the six and a half inch and then you have got your base now I'm going to show you how to fold it so now if you're if you are watching this and you're your palms are getting sweaty and you're like oh my gosh oh my gosh I this is one thing I am not good with just know I've already done it for you for your kit so if you just want to do this once and never do it again you I've got you covered but um, don't be afraid to try worst case scenario you cut a piece of cardstock and then use it for something else okay so don't be afraid to try so in your kit you're gonna get this already pre-scored and cut I will um, do it for you for the first time if you want to do extra you can and then really the only other piece you're going to get that's already cut is this piece and then you're going to get a little bit of um, the a piece of the linen thread because you're going to need this so you'll have a piece of this cut as well so and then the envelope so you'll have that and then you'll cut your bits and um, fussy cut out your paint brushes okay so that's the hard part we got the hard part out the way the next part is how do we fold this thing well the first that fold across there that was at the four and a half inch we're gonna fold that like that then the easiest way is to bring this middle bit up pinch that pinch that middle bit there pinch it and you might see it curling up like that which kind of looks fun so you'll pinch this but then these ones are going to go in so you'll pinch it the other way you can turn it over and pinch it if you like and you can actually just turn it over and fold it and boom that's how you do it okay so the first thing you're going to do just to recap you're going to get that little middle line you're going to kind of pull it and pinch it and that's like you're burnishing it then you're going to get those other ones and you can just flip it and you can literally just pinch them together and 
to me that's probably the easiest way to do it and then that's all the hard part done now we just assemble and we get this really cute fun fresh card okay so dsp we've got this piece in the center let's see if i can find all the correct um pieces for you we've got a uh seven eighths by four and three eighths no hang on <laughs> give me a second um okay this part now this part you have to pay attention to directionality because it's got these hammers on it okay so you're going to cut two pieces one way and you're going to cut this other piece this way so this one is four and an eighth by four and eighth high i mean four and an eighth wide by seven eighths high okay now these two are going to be the seven eighths wide by four and three eighths long seven eighths four and three eighths and then we're going to have a piece in the middle which is going to be two and one eighth by four and three eighths two and one eighth by four and three eighths so all we do now is go ahead and glue these down and i glue this one first now when you're putting this adhering it you're going to place it and center it from the top down center it from the top down okay don't worry about this bottom bit just center that so it's about the same on the top as it is on the sides and put that there because then we're going to get this piece and this is going to just be centered right here it's an easy easy bit right we've done the hard work for you you just get to cut out the paper make sure you're cutting it the right way again you'll have to cut in two different directions for this one unless you use uh, one of the other papers and then it doesn't have a directionality on it and you might use the nuts and bolts here instead then you don't have to stress so much oh look it's the nuts and bolts on the other side that's funny <laughs> and that would work too if you want you could even go like look if you wanted to get make it a little bit more woo you could even um i think go that way as well they have all three um going it looks actually kind of cute doesn't it oh okay but i'm gonna stick with the original plan here since i cut that one uh what do you like let me know if you've watched this far um let me know should i have put the nuts and bolts on that side or should i have just kept it how i did and the way i did this one is kind of just kind of slide it down there we go too easy and this one I think the nuts and bolts kind of made it look like it kind of popped out more gave it more of a background so you can you can uh, change it up any way you want even though it's a kit it can still be changed up then you may go you know what i like this but i want to try it with a different stamp set you know in different paper do that give it you know like you can make five different cards using this exact same layouts that i've used here so i've got some glue stuck there and you can get five different looking cards you know obviously they'll be a little similar but they'll be different Oh, you will get also a little piece of paper that I forgot to include. Uh, what a goofball. Where did I put it? Okay. So, you'll get like a, a piece of this paper already cut. It's like a half inch. Already cut, ready to go. And we need the stamp set. And this one is from the Thoughtful Wishes. It says, I appreciate you. I didn't want to do another Happy Father's Day or um, and nothing else really fit here. So you could change this up and you can make it, use a Happy Birthday stamp. Use a, you know, I miss you. You could use whatever you want there. So we already had a thank you. I'm just going to ink that up in black memento. And I appreciate you. That's not really centered, is it? 
you know what happens when we do that we flip it over and go let's let's get that another go it's because I'm just gonna bring it in front of me for a second sometimes it's so hard to see <laughs> when you're like doing this as a video so then all I did was snip this is going to be my new favorite way for doing labels is just angle it it just saves time effort and energy for reals um, I've also got a piece of basic white cardstock that's going to go on the back and that is four and a quarter by four so it's going to fit um, a certain way that way there we go I had it right the first time and that's a good place to put your message now if you want you never have to glue the part where you're going to write on first you can always put that on after you actually write on it in case you make a boo-boo because I mean we all do you know you get going too fast gets all messy or you can just leave it that way too it's up to you then I have fussy cut out two little um, paint brushes but we'll also go ahead in um, if you're wondering what I'm doing sometimes like a little edge piece will be sticking up where you cut it so I just get my bone folder and I press it down because I don't know it bothers me <laughs> so, but you don't have to so I appreciate you oh, still got it stuck and then I did get these and just pop them on the end and it just turned out that it it was like on the hammer <laughs> so it was like in the middle of the hammers kind of funny okay now to me this was the hardest part apart from cutting base the hardest part was uh, when you cut this out it's got a little white part here so the bigger one it, it's you can kind of poke it in and kind of snip it out but this smaller one here um, is kind of just like I put my scissors in and kind of gently turn it around I actually have made this one a little bit bigger so it might be easier then I have come through I probably could come through the other way it might be easier just go through those two holes oh that one I made the hole bigger so that wasn't hard at all oh, what was I talking about okay and then we're going to tie a bow and just cut that off tie a knot I just thought it was cute like hang the paint brushes together I just imagine them hanging up in the garage I don't know why okay and I do want them offset a little bit now these I use the same color yellow here but there are different colors on the paper again I was just using the paper in the best way and then just tie a bow then what I did here is put the dimensionals and have the dimensionals stick the paint brushes together there so now they're stuck like that and then just pop these on top we're almost done it's been a long video almost an hour and just pop that down there at an angle I think it looks cuter at an angle we can snip that so it's not so long and a little bit more bling More bling down here and we'll do two here and boom there we go card number four and that does stand up like that it's a step card a step card easel this one's an easel card I was calling this one a step card this is an easel <laughs> let's get it right this one was an easel card okay and this one is a step card because there's a little step step up okay so you can see that um, there's the green and the yellow I've done both the yellow now if you wanted to change this you could just get a stamp and blend and just color that right there with the stamp and blend and it'll change the whole color 
so you could have the the bigger contrast okay so don't even worry about trying to match color just get a color and get a, a stamp and blend and boom there you go okay so that is today's fun fold cards and again it's a minimum um forty dollar order before shipping and tax and then you're going to get enough to make four cards not eight it'll be four cards one of each design you're going to get that half a pack of the trusty tools paper which will be cut in a 12 by 6 um, it'll be shipped like this okay you're also going to get the pdf tutorial for this and you're going to get the pdf tutorial for the other four cards which again, if you just want to have a look, if we forgot, is this one. And this uses the Zinnia paper, but you can use whatever you have. Remember, you're not getting the kit for this. You're just getting the PDF tutorial. So um, you'll want to go ahead and get this bundle. Go ahead and grab the Trusty Tools bundle. And then you're going to have PDF tutorials for eight cards, a kit for four cards, extra paper so you could even use this paper on these cards you can do what you want and i've done the hard work for you here but when you watch this video you're going to see exactly how once you do it a couple of times you'll be like oh this is simple okay i hope you loved today's video i hope you love these fun folds get in and get your order placed um there's also a whole bunch of stuff that's on sale and it's retiring. So grab that before it's gone. Things are selling out. It's all while supplies last. Again, this offer is good until the 17th of April. I will be sending out an email today. Make sure you're on my email list because I do um, email only um, specials as well. Um, so you can get in the description of this um, video down below. And my email list is there. Sign up and I'll get you on the email list. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for everything. Hope you have a great weekend coming up. And um, if you're in South Carolina, stay dry today. <laughs> okay. Bye, everyone.